Yo, uh, your, your government has given uh, Ukraine twelve billion more dollars. So, mm. grand total of sixty-six billion dollars. Sixty-six billion. And I think what could sixty-six billion dollars do for the poor, disenfranchised, homeless people, uh, uh, veterans who come back? Yeah. What could sixty-six billion dollars have done to assure up? See, go ahead, go ahead. And I, I want to uh, make this clear as well. I think we give. We we've given America has given more than any other European country money to Ukraine. People, countries that are next to Ukraine in the same European countries have not given anything close to what America has given to Ukraine. I want to be very very clear with that. Mm. Okay, and then two, I want to know because they they keep spinning it like the money we given is 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 win. But why do we have to give that money? They're not a NATO country. That's one. Right. They're not in there, so we don't have to give them money. Yeah, they're definitely not even a NATO country. That's right. what this whole thing is about. Right. They're not in there, so what do we have to give them money for? And then two, like there are literal problems here in America. Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi, without water. Ugh. There's contaminated water in Brooklyn now. Like there's mad stuff. There's homeless people. There's a bunch of stuff uh, 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 at the border. There's problems with immigration at the border. Like there's so many problems. Yes. And. Republicans and Democrats, I want to make this clear, too, are agreeing to send money over there. Wow. So everybody clearly has a vested interest of where this money is moving and how it's moving over there. It has to be the contract, The contract's over there and, you know, uh, shell companies. I don't know what the hell is happening, but they are literally laundering money right in front of all of our faces. Yeah, there has to be kickbacks. There has to be. No other way around it. So sixty-six billion went in, and and twenty billion came mm. back through lobbying and all that other kind of shit. And people are putting money in their pocket. It has to be. I, I I see no other no other. It, it makes no. Listen, I keep telling you, I I use common sense, and that makes no kind of logical sense whatsoever to give this European nation this much money, who's not even a part of NATO. They're not even a part of the so-called family. Mm-hmm. Why? Something else going on. And we do know before he got in office, Biden, Biden, yes. that there were connections in Ukraine mm-hmm. with his son going there. So we already know they were out ahead of this. And now that's where the money is. And Zelensky, he is um, the president of Ukraine. He's been talking greasy for a minute. Like, we're not sending him enough. Like, you know, and so, so let's say... Let's say he is on up and up, right? If we're not sending him enough, yeah, I got sixty-six billion dollars, and we sending the most out of anybody in the world sending you money. What do you? What's happening with the money? Absolutely, right? So, like, is he not getting it, or is he, um, you know, sending somewhere? Like, what's happening over there? Yeah, yeah. Send more money. Like that's literally what he's doing. Like, yo, now nah, we need more. Y'all not doing enough. Send more money. And for us, this guy can't be running in. in uh, for the next election. I'm hearing whispers of Hillary. Oh, fuck. We back to that shit again. Yeah, I'm hearing whispers of Hillary. Oh, fuck. Sheesh. Yo, this whole shit is just... But, so what's happening yeah. in political realm, right? So there are... I've, I've said this before. There are divisions within both parties, right? So there is the Democratic Party who's with Hillary, who's with, oh, with Biden, and there's some... Who's trying to just like, yo, let's just dump both of them and go Gavin Newsom from California. He's mm-hmm. young, vibrant. Vibrant, yep. yeah. Yeah, like yep. he yep. is like a new age Democrat. There is the Republican Party who is with Trump, then there's some with um, Ron DeSantis. Mm-hmm. Again, young, vibrant, new age. He has a proven track record. People just like him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like people, uh, people just like him. So th- there is so much infighting that's happening. Right. Let's make it clear. There's not. A Democratic Party yeah. versus a Republican Party. Yeah, it's sub parties and sub parties and vying, vying yeah. for power. And then the real and what you what you what I've grown to see now is like the real power be like the Speaker of the House or the Majority Leader. Those be the real people yeah, who yeah. real hold the weight because their position don't change. Nancy Pelosi's been at that same post for yeah, eons. Yeah, yeah they've been there for years. She they they have a whole Twitter page, like I said. Uh, watching her her husband trade picks uh stock trading picks yeah, because, because they he, know it'd be 100 percent. like if, if he he does better than um um warren warren buffett wow like they did like statistically how much each one's oh, right he's need, more right shit we need to follow him shit exactly 
Mm. It's called um, Unusual Whales on Twitter if you want to. Uh, Unusual Whales. Because, like, you know, like the whales and the, the, the trades and, like, they call them whales. Right? Okay, okay. Um, what was I going to say as well? Um, so, and what's happening right now, too, politically, the midterms is coming up, that both parties are holding uh, major political uh, 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 talking points hostage until after the midterm elections. So, prime example, gay marriage, right? Mm -hmm. Gay marriage, it was just uh, voted um, on in Cuba. They voted for gay marriage in Cuba. Okay. In America, right now, the Democratic Party is in power. They could have codified Roe versus Wade, the abortion law that they've been complaining about, mm -hmm. but they didn't because they're saying, basically, vote for us. And then we'll do it. And then we'll do it. Right, so they're holding that. They're that holding it hostage. Makes sense. They're doing the same thing with gay rights. They're doing the same thing with a bunch of black uh, uh, issues as well. They've been doing that. And Democratic Party and black people, we fall for it every single time. Absolutely. Interesting, like world politics, the there was a new prime minister voted on in Italy. And this woman, her name is, let me get her name, let me get her name. Her name is Georgia Maloney. I probably said it. Without the accent, probably said it's super wrong. But she's like super far right, and her getting a win was like bugged out, like global wise. Okay. Right? Okay. And I listened to one of her speeches. Somebody sent me one of her speeches, and she talked about uh, why they don't want the family anymore, why they didn't want like the, the world, like other people. Like she's on family, she's on like the gender you were born with. Like she's like that. Oh, she's old school. She's like old school, but they voted overwhelmingly for her. Black mass, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way I couldn't find Hey, what's job. up? If you like what you just saw and you want to see the full, uncut, raw, uncensored podcast, hit the link below. It's only $5 a month or $50 for the entire year. Get all of the content. Get Black Diet in its rawest form. Get a bunch of exclusive content yes. never before seen by anybody else. And you can only be a member to see it. Become a member now. Click the link below.